Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tag Team Recoveries. Uh, we're out here, finding, going to try and find some nice civil artifacts today. Uh, yes, we got about three days we're going to be spending out here. We got several other guys hunting with us, uh, Steve, JT, and Buddy. And uh, we're going to work on a whole bunch of these ravines looking for civil war ordnance and possibly some bullets, maybe a button or two or something like that. So we appreciate you guys watching and coming along with us and hopefully we'll have some good stuff to show you guys here in a little bit. See you shortly at the first hole. Yeah, guys, uh, my first hole here, it was down pretty deep, uh, probably about eight inches or so, but I picked up my first three ringer, fire three ringer. Um, a good little start. Now we will see you guys at the next hole. And yeah, next second of this morning, uh, another fired bullet. This one kind of mushroomed out a good bit. And you see that right there. Serious impact on that one. Alrighty, well, we'll take that and we'll see you guys at the next hole. All right, just caught up with Daniel. He just got his first uh, item here. What you got, Bubba? Big old naval frag. You can see where the fuse went right there. Oh, look at that, man. Pretty cool, man. Looks like probably from a nine or 10 inch Dahlgren. But yeah, you can see right where the fuse slot was. Congrats, Bubba. That's nice. That's nice. Let's get some more. Hey, guys. <coughs> kind of give you an idea of what we're doing this morning, Daniel and I. Uh, there's a long ravine right here back behind me and I don't know if you can see it too well but there's a nice cut right here we're digging bullets on both sides of it looking for artillery shell fragments fuses whatever else may have be down in here but this ravine here is pretty long and we'll pan on around here and you can see the hillsides and stuff that we're hunting and she loops right on down right on through here so Daniel's working one side of it I'm working the other I've already got about four bullets and uh, he's got two shell frags. So we'll get back with you in a little bit and hopefully we get some more good stuff out of here to show you guys. Hey yeah, guys, this is real cool. Uh, I got my first shell frag and it's sitting right here. It won't down that deep, but it looks like the top two, uh, probably about a 24 pound Borman ball. And you can see just about where the fuse was cut in right there. But nice little nose cap section right there. So we'll take that and we will move off to the next hole. All right, I'm on the side of these hills here, just caught up with Buddy. And uh, he just picked up a nice carved bullet. Uh, take a peek at that right there. Cool little find. Made like a chess piece or something out of it, but you'll make your mind up on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, well, cool. All right, buddy, let's get some more. Alright guys, uh, my next signal here is a nice early tomback button. And uh, it looks like it's still got the shank on the back of it. Yep, sure does. Okay. Alright, that's nice. I like that nice smooth finish on that one. Alrighty guys, we'll see you at the next hole. Now this is a pretty cool find. Didn't have to work too hard for it. But just walking up the side of this hill, swinging my machine up underneath all these trees and stuff, and laying right on top of the ground right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right underneath the leaves. Look at that. That's an Indian head penny. Laying right on top of the ground. It looks like 18, 1898. But apparently it had washed down on the side of this hill here. All right, we'll take that, and we'll move off to the next hole. There, right, guys, next hole. Uh, down probably about 10 inches or so. Picked up another shell frag here. And uh, down probably about 10 inches or so. But anyhow, we'll take that, and we'll move off to the next hole. Yeah. Yeah, man, my next target here, I uh, was digging something metal, uh, a piece of small iron or something, and when I flipped my dirt over, there's an arrowhead right in the dirt with it right here. Check that out. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Tips broke off on it a little bit, but take that. That's a nice little find. Cool. All right, see y'all at the next hole. That's all right. All right, guys. Uh, just got up with Daniel. Daniel just got him a fantastic target today, man. And I'm going to let him tell you what he's got. Got himself a nice naval fuse. Yeah, nice naval water cap fuse. Check that thing out, man. That is absolutely beautiful. 
Look at that, man. Congratulations, Bubba. That is super, super nice, man. Man, rock on, buddy. Put it there, man. Good job, man. Won't that deep either, was it? Less than five inches. Awesome, awesome. All right, man. Let's get some more, buddy. Good job. <laughs> All right, guys. We're taking a little midday break here. Uh, these are Daniel mine finds for right now. We've got well over a dozen bullets between us. Most of them all fired and stuff, but uh, high impact bullets. Uh, got a Tomback button, old Indian head penny. We got several shell frags, some naval shell frags here, some smaller field artillery frags, uh, canister shot ball, more naval shell frags, and then of course Daniel's got this beautiful, it's 1861 Ordnance Department naval fuse. And that was his find from earlier. I'm going to check in with JT and Steve here in a minute. We're going to look over their stuff, but that's, we're just taking a lunch break right now and just looking over our stuff and getting ready to get back at it. All right, guys, see you on a few. All right, Bob, we're checking in with JT. What's going on, man? Hey, How you doing today, much. man? A little lunch good. break and stuff. How you doing? Good, good. Got, got some round balls here, about seven, eight of them. Uh, Williams cleaner, some shell frags, a little naval shell frag. Uh, got a... Uh, infield nipple protector oh that's real cool i like that chain man. that is sweet uh, yeah. cool bob cool yeah, hoping to get some more all right bob well, we'll get back out there again and get it get some more out there man get yeah, it done do man right. get it done <laughs> all right caught up with steve now here on a little break here we're gonna check out and see what he's got going on what you got buddy didn't find a whole lot but probably the best thing would be this little buckle here with a little bit of file work on it there, decoration. Sweet, man. That is nice. And maybe a, a early shoe buckle. And there's a, a little spur buckle. And uh, a carved bullet. That's nice, yep. And a dropped bullet. And this may or may not be a, From a, a bar a shot. Bar shot. From, yeah. Nice solid cast ball there. Solid cast ball. And a smaller grape shot, and just some melted lead, some smaller Sweet. buckyballs. And then one other large frag there. Yep. Probably from a parrot or something like that. Yeah. Nice, man. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Well, we get back out there and uh, let's get some more. Good. Yeah, my next signal here, not too deep. I don't know if you can see it there, but it is part of a colonial shoe buckle. I don't know if the rest of it will be around here or not, but it's a fancy design right there. Very cool piece. All right, guys. We will see you guys at the next hole. All right, just caught up with Daniel. Sorry about all the noise chatter in the background. We're near some power lines, but anyhow, he just found himself a nice little area ahead. Check that out. And that's nice. All right, Bubba. Good job, man. Good job. Let's get some more. Wow. Uh uh uh. That is killer. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Just caught up with Steve, man. What you got, bro? Well, it looks like a nose to a hundred pounder. Look at that, man. That yeah. is incredible, man. You see the whole fuse where the fuse assembly went. Powder chamber, man. Powder Dude, chamber. that is a monster, monster frag. Dude, gotta be, gotta be some whole ones in here somewhere, Bubba. Yeah, Dude, man. that is nice, man. Hold that bad boy up. That is sweet, man. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Congrats, bud. Right there. Yeah. Heck Thanks. yeah, man. All right, let's Thanks. get some more, Bob. Yes, All right, guys, my next target. I don't know if you can see way down in that hole right there. And you can see that rust that's on the side of that. Well, guess what I got? I want them two and a half inch uh, solid shot balls. Look at that, man. Heck yeah. All righty. Well, where there's one, there's more, hopefully. All righty. Well, we'll see you guys at the next hole. Hey right, guys, uh, next target here, fire through here, up underneath a big old tree right here, but right at the base of it, down deep down there. But we'll take that, and move off to the next hole, guys. See you in a minute. Uh, getting late out here, but we're getting, still getting some targets and stuff. Just found a uh, part of a sabot, brass sabot to a, a parrot shell. All right, we'll see you at the next hole. Yeah. 